They're supposed to be easier to use with more payment options, solar-powered parking meters that accept credit cards. In August, the Memphis City Council approved a $1.7 million plan to install 161 of them. The Action News 5 investigators got the first look and discovered a storm brewing in some areas where solar-powered meters are already installed. Action News 5's Anna Marie Hartman reports. Finding change to feed the meter where parking 15 minutes for a quarter is at a premium getting quarters can make or break where your wheels wind up it's very inconvenient because i'm here for a workshop which is about two hours long that's all about to change in downtown memphis thanks to a 1.7 million dollar plan approved by the memphis city council to replace these old school timekeepers with high-tech solar powered parking meters just insert the amount. City engineer John Cameron gave Action News 5 the first look at one of the city's new pay stations. Pay with cash or credit at the station closest to your car and get a time stamped receipt. You place this on your dashboard for the enforcement folks to see. Solar panels make them environmentally friendly. The meter itself operates off a battery. So the solar panel just recharges the battery. But what happens when there's no sun to provide that solar power? Last couple of days, they haven't been working. Drivers in cities across the country and London, where solar-powered parking meters are already installed, say a couple of days of overcast skies or stormy weather can create a meter meltdown on the streets. After just two days of gray skies in Richmond, Virginia, the meters there stopped working. I'm ready to pay, but I uh, can't. I don't know what to do. Their only options were to drive to another spot where meters worked or risk getting a ticket. Some fed up drivers scribbled on scrap paper, leaving notes to the attendants, parking machine not operating. One of the things we're going to have to look at is where we're positioning the meters. Cameron knows no system is perfect, but he's not sure a lack of sun is the real problem with parking meters in other cities. It may be an older model. It may be that the batteries are getting older and not holding the charge as long. Richmond's meters are supplied by a different company than the one chosen by Memphis. Parkeon will make the meters here. The battery is good for, for several days. It's not generally longer than two days. They'll communicate to us when there's a problem, when there's a jam, when there's, it's running out of paper, when the battery's getting low. But driver beware. If you run across a meter that does not work, it doesn't mean you get a free parking pass. You can park where there's an out-of-service meter, but we recommend that you go to another kiosk and make your payment there, get your receipt, and put it on your dashboard. Or you could get ticketed, rain or shine. For the Action News 5 investigators, I'm Anna Marie Hartman. The city engineer says Parkeon stands behind a 99% re reliability claim and that their batteries can actually last up to two weeks between recharge. If you do park where a meter or pay station isn't working, take a picture of it with your phone. You may still get a ticket, but if you fight it out in court, that documentation could help you plead your case. City officials expect to have the new meters installed before the end of this year. And Cameron says the cost to park downtown could go up in high demand areas and decrease where parking is in less demand.